Most phone companies focus on the camera, some focus on the speed, battery and what's on the inside of the phone. But here is the new ASUS 6Z, a phone that seems to have it all. This phone is a marked leap from its predecessor and with a price tag of 39,999 rupees, is the 6Z here to set this segment on fire? Well, let's see with our review. The ASUS 6Z comes with a lot of panache. It is a glossy phone but it looks robust and pretty good when held. The body of the phone has Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on the back and the latest Gorilla Glass 6 on the front. But the real beauty is in its nano edge display screen. There is a 6.4 inch screen with absolutely no notch. It is a full HD plus screen with an LCD panel which makes watching videos a seamless experience. But I think the design thinking is important because I require all the design and innovation must start with people's desirability. That means empathizing with real consumers, right? So I think uh, to really understand the pain point, okay, uh, from the, the, you know, the real consumers. So I really appreciate that, you know, uh, we also got your feedback. When we ask you, you know, what's the pain point, you know, for the flagship? And then you actually give us very good feedback that, you know, a no notch, okay? <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, the you know the, the the fast and smooth kind of uh, UI right yeah. so sort of like the, the stock Android that kind of you know uh, so I think we we listen very hard. The phone does feel a bit heavy to hold in the hand, and that is because of its unique camera. Get ready to flip out. Well, this is the first flipping camera phone, which means the camera is wedged at the back. But when you want to take a selfie, it will flip and come out like this. There is a stepper motor which enables this and the housing of the camera is made of liquid metal which makes the camera pretty sturdy. The camera is a tad bit slow to flip open though as compared to pop-ups. We'll come to the phone's camera prowess in just a bit. Let's first take a look at everything else this phone packs in. The phone is powered by the high-end Snapdragon 855 chipset. We played PUBG on this phone and it was smooth and it worked very well. Now a top-of-the-line Snapdragon 855 chipset on a phone at a price point of 32,000 rupees is truly remarkable. But what does Qualcomm have to say about bringing this chipset down to this price level of phones? All of us want to work to ensure that the consumer is happy with the experience and probably is happy with the price for sure. So I would look at it a bit differently and I'd say that what we have enabled or our OEM partners have enabled is making something affordable and we should be all happy about that. The ASUS 6Z runs on the all-new Zen UI 6. This has moved a little away from their stock Android feel, but it has some smart features we like like a cleaner looking UI and something called a smart key, which is this button on the side that can be customized to anything. Originally it is meant to bring up Google Assistant, but we customized it and set it for taking a screenshot. ASUS phones are known to have massive batteries and the 6Z is no exception. There is a 5000 mAh battery on this phone, which will probably last you two days of heavy use. The phone comes with a triple slot with a micro SD card slot that can expand storage on this phone up to a whopping 2TB. To unlock this phone, we would say go the fingerprint way since ASUS gives that option, although there is a face unlock, but it works only once the camera flips out. Which brings us to this flipping beauty. Let's see what it is capable of. Well, it comes with a 48 megapixel Sony IMX586 sensor and a 30 megapixel camera, although images taken straight out are on 12 megapixel. The 48 megapixel needs to be actually switched on in the settings. The detail and clarity in the images is very impressive. But since this camera has a stepper motor, one can shoot objects like an action camera at any angle. There is a slide bar for camera's movement, making this a very versatile camera. A vertical panorama and a horizontal panorama can be taken very simply and you don't even need to move. The camera will do the work for you. The low light shots we clicked were detailed as well and very impressive. Well, there isn't much to say about the selfies since the same cameras flip and double up as front shooters. This means a 48 megapixel selfie with a lot of depth and we have to say we are happy with the results. There's 4K video recording which is great. The slow motion video recording is at 480 FPS. We wish there was 960 FPS, but it does the job. So what we've done with uh, ASUS 6Z is ensured that we give a true and meaningful innovation. It's not a me too. It uh, delivers, it actually takes care of a lot of Indian consumers' requirements. Uh, we've been taking a lot of feedback in India, and uh, if you see in this, functions like FM radio, triple slot, a very heavy duty battery with fast charging, opening the cam to API. These are some of the requests, you know, which have been coming from Indian users to us, that we should do these in our smartphones. And when we've created uh, the top of the line smartphone, we've also ensured that these small basics are addressed extremely well. And therefore we want, we want more and more Indian consumers to try out ASUS, experience the technology, and you know, see the difference that we make to their lives. 
Overall, at around 32,000 rupees, the Asus 6Z is a stellar phone with a mammoth battery, smooth chipset and a camera that won't let you down. The flip is a little slow but the shots from this are impressive and Asus's clever design has bowled us over. So if this is your budget, then the Asus 6Z is definitely worth considering.